When you're doing improv, it doesn't matter whether or not you're good at telling stories or coming up with ideas for stories. Improvisation is never about you writing what isn't in the script or creating a new one. Improvisation is just you being a character, period. That's all you have to worry about. Just focus on the character you're given during an improvisation and try to be true to that character when you speak and act. Really, the only thing that will keep you from being good at improvisation is if you can't get over your self-consciousness or being embarrassed by what you say or do or how people might look at you because of it. It's okay to be silly. It's okay to say the first thing that pops into your head. And it's okay to fail, too. It's okay to draw a blank or trip up or not know what comes next like I just did right there, as long as you don't get embarrassed by it and freeze up. Just stay loose and natural. There's an old saying in improv, never say no. It doesn't mean you can't actually say no during your scene. It means you shouldn't ever stop the improv or deny something that the actors created. See, all the actors in an improvisational scene are creating the story together. And when you say no, it's not like that the whole improv comes to a grinding halt. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're improvising a scene about family. Uh, the other actor says, your sister told me that you hated the whole family. If I respond with, no she didn't, then the whole scene becomes about us arguing whether my sister said something or not, and the scene is sort of dead. If I accept what the other actor said, the scene can go on, and now it becomes about why my sister thinks I hate my family. See, that's how actors guide the flow of an improv scene, by each one adding little details and then reacting to them. Which brings me to my next point. Have you heard the old saying that acting is about reacting? Well, it's still true. And it can be especially true for improvisation. A lot of improv isn't what you do or say, it's how you react act to what others say and do. Try concentrating more on that than making things up on your own. You'll find improvisation gets a lot easier and your choices get a lot better. That's the end of part two of our lesson. But come back for part three where I'll give you some exercises you can do that will help you start to get good at improvisation. See you in part three.